Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time seeing my face, hi, my name is Monica and I post videos all about personal finance, all about investing for beginners, all about the stimulus checks, all about budgeting during a crisis. So if you are interested in topics like those, you already know what to do. Be sure to subscribe down below to this channel. Join this community of people who are learning all about the stimulus checks. Also please like this video, Hulk smash the like button and turn on your post notifications so you never miss any of my stimulus check or stimulus package updates. Now you may hear a little bit of something. I actually have my fan going because it is so hot in New York City today, but here we go. So this is your stimulus check update, your second round of stimulus checks and stimulus package update. When is the second stimulus check date for 2020? When is the second stimulus check deposit date? What is the status of the new bill? And where are the second round of stimulus checks? Now, just to clarify, I have gotten some comments where people are saying, I haven't received my second stimulus check yet. That's because there has not been a second stimulus check yet. It has not been passed. It's currently sitting in the Senate. They have to vote on it and decide what they're going to do next. But as of right now, there has not been a second round of stimulus checks sent out. We will answer all of those questions in this video. So the Senate passed the stimulus bill yesterday evening for the Paycheck Protection Flexibility Act. Now it still needs to be signed by the president in order for it to become law. This bill does give business owners more flexibility and time to use loan money and still get it forgiven as part of the Paycheck Protection Program. We can see and we know that the Senate's priority is and has always been small businesses. They were able to come together with the House of Representatives, with the President, and get this bill passed. So what that says to me is they wanted to help and they did. It shows that if they want to pass a bill, they can. So why is it so difficult to pass another round of stimulus checks when Americans so clearly need it? The first round of $1,200 came and went very quickly for a lot of Americans if they even received it. Now, if the American people held up their end of the bargain and stayed home when we were told to stay home, then the government should hold up their end of the bargain and take care of the American people. Now in terms of businesses, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer said, we can't wait any longer. Businesses are really suffering for lack of these changes. We must get this done. Businesses are going under every day. Now the truth is, the businesses do need the help, but the people need the help too. So moving on, in terms of the next round of stimulus checks, economic advisor Kevin Hassett stated that the Wall Street Journal article that I'll link below in the description box hit the nail on the head in terms of what the president wants Kevin Hassett is the man who is in the room with congressional leaders. He's in the room with our president. So let's hear what he has to say. Because what happened is that we kind of turned the economy off uh, to, in order to save probably millions of lives. And then we gave people the cash they needed. Hopefully, you know, we, we got it to most everybody. What do you expect to see in the next round of aid? How do you get the economy coming back? You, you know, Maria, the, the, when, as you know, that when you're in the White House, up, I'm, you're surprised to see that, you know, when you're having meetings and stuff, that all of a sudden you read about it in the paper. And the Wall Street Journal wrote a long article about it that seemed pretty well sourced. It was pretty accurate. And so we are absolutely meeting this week. We're going over what we think should be in the phase four deal. And we're going to try to reform unemployment insurance so the factor you uh, suggested goes away. The president's team is working on putting together a set of proposals that are meant to get us back to work, that are meant to get us back to our normal way of living. This includes going out to restaurants, taking vacations, and this is all in an effort to jumpstart the economy as quickly as possible. What our congressional leaders are not understanding is people who are without income, who are without money, are not thinking about going on vacation. They are not thinking about going out to restaurants. They are actually thinking about how they're gonna pay their rent for this month, for last month, and the month before because they haven't gotten their stimulus check yet. A lot of people are food insecure, so they're not looking to go out to restaurants, they're actually looking to eat 
at home. Now, President Trump is meeting this week with his economic team to discuss different options for the next round of stimulus, which could include reforms to the current unemployment benefits, according to White House advisor Kevin Hassett. Now, we all know about that extra $600 a week bonus that is the pandemic unemployment bonus, and it's been going on since April. It's going to end in July, and that bonus has really been helping a lot of people get through this pandemic. Pandemic. Generally speaking, people are making a lot more on unemployment than they would if they were working, which of course is a disincentive, meaning people do not want to go back. Now this extra $600 a week is truly a disincentive to go back to work. If you're going to make more money on unemployment, why go back to work, risk contracting the virus, why work all of these long hours to make less money when you could be home and safe with your family making more on unemployment. Now the hard truth is that a lot of the jobs that people once had will not be there when we fully reopen our economy. Companies have been saying they will be hiring less than half of their workforce back, meaning we will still have a lot of people unemployed. The back to work bonus would also end on July 31st, which is the same day unemployment ends. So if you had to choose between getting an extra $600 a week on unemployment or going back to work with this extra $450, which would you really choose? I think most people would choose to receive more money. Now, the administration is considering reducing those $600 a week payments down to $250 or maybe even $300 a week during the second half of the year. Another option would be to set the payments as a share of the worker salary, meaning that you won't make quite as much, obviously, as a $600 a week, but you'll be making a portion of your normal salary. But that option would be a lot more complicated because then states are going to have to do all this math, calculating the percentage of who got what and who whatever. That sounds like a much more complicated way of fixing the problem. Another proposal introduced by Texas Representative Kevin Brady would give workers a one-time payment of $1,200 or two weekly payments of $600 when they go back to their job. Administration officials have said, we've been through the rescue phase and we're now in the transitional reopening phase and i think generally speaking we'd like to move into a growth incentive phase for the future economy so pretty much they're saying listen we've given out stimulus checks we've given money to hospitals we've given money we've given trillions of dollars out we rescued the people now we are transitioning into our reopening phase and the next round of stimulus should be about incentivizing growth. So now to answer the questions, when is the second stimulus check date for 2020? When is the second stimulus check deposit date? What is the status of the new bill? And where are the second round of stimulus checks? So to answer that, the White House predicts the size and details of the next package won't be completed until July. And they will depend in part on the success of the state level reopening and whether our economy starts going back up. Because we keep hearing about this V-shaped recovery. We went down, we went down because of the virus. Now the goal is for us to go up. Now the bottom line is we need money in order for our economy to go back up, which circles back to stimulus checks. So we know what will determine how much money we get in the next stimulus package is really based on the success of our state level reopenings and whether the downturn reverses. White House officials are continuing to bet on a V-shaped recovery in which the economy rebounds the summer and continues to grow into next year. Now, while many economists have projected economic activity will begin to pick up over the coming months, they see a slow and long recovery ahead. So let me know in the comments down below what you think of all of this. There is a lot going on in terms of stimulus or lack of stimulus. So let me know what you think Congress should do. Please let me know your opinions on the $1,200 stimulus check versus the $2,000 stimulus check, monthly stimulus checks. We always have really great conversations in the comments. So that is the end of the video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you all in my next stimulus check and stimulus package update.